Aboriginal artist Daphne Ojig has died. Ojig was famous for being the driving force behind a group known as the Indian Group of Seven. Her work mixed Aboriginal pictograms and First Nations art with European techniques, and the works have been exhibited not only in Canada, but internationally as well. Well, for more on Ojig, her life and her work, let's bring in Tashana Reed. So sad news, mm -hmm. but an incredible life, an incredible career. Yeah, Michael, we confirmed the news. I uh, spoke with her son on the phone, uh, and uh, he said that his mother passed away peacefully uh, at the age of 97. She was surrounded by family um, at a long-term care facility where she was. And, uh, you know, she's lived uh, quite a long life, a, a, a full life with lots of color, as you can see, based on her artwork. Uh, she was born in 1919 on a reserve in Manitoulin Island in Ontario. Uh, and she also lived in Winnipeg for quite some time. She had a prominent gallery there uh, as well, and she passed away in Kelowna, where she was living. Uh, and she was form formally recognized as an artist probably back in the 60s. Now, she's had quite an illustrious career, uh, but she is a member of the Order of Canada. She is a, uh, has received the Order of BC, and many refer to her as the grandmother of Aboriginal art. Uh, you know, when she started her work in the mid-60s, uh, it, it was a mixture of pen and ink drawings that depicted community life and through the decades we would see her work uh, evolve uh, in other periods she depicted stories of the aboriginal community uh, and legends and stories that were passed down through generations and, uh, and then she also addressed the you know colonial and post-colonial experiences uh, of her people and she ran as i mentioned uh, an art gallery in winnipeg she uh, as we mentioned was uh, a, you know part of the founding of a group referred to as the indian group of seven included other artists such as Carl Ray, Norval Morisot, uh, Alex Janvier, and you know she is described as a, a driving force uh, when we look at the Canadian Aboriginal art world. Uh, our paintings very much a woodland style, and you know we went back into our archives and we came across an interview that she did when she was 88 years old, and uh, you know she was just talking about how excited she was to have her work at a new exhibit. And here's more about what she told us. When these things were very difficult, difficult then, the, the doors weren't open to us, so we had a, a, a reason to uh, really uh, tell the people who we are and what we can do and, and tell them about our art. You know, we, we just did not belong to in a, in a, in a box of some kind, you know, to be sheltered out on the shelf somewhere. You know, I went through a lot of discrimination as a young girl and uh, so many at my age group did and we that, that was another barrier we had to overcome along with fellow artists and Norvell uh Morris. ojig you know she was a huge proponent of promoting indigenous artwork and uh, as we saw uh, one of her galleries there and uh, there isn't a memorial being planned at this time uh, that's what her son had told me but he did say that one of her wishes were for people to make a donation to the Kelowna SPCA something that uh, an organization that was very dear to her um, and uh, and again I, I, we're seeing you know the art world kind of respond to to the sad news well, certainly a huge contribution made to Canadian culture, Canadian art. Thank you very much. You're welcome.